Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial on Git installation at Simply Learn. Git is an essential tool for developers. So whether you're working alone or on a project or collaborating with team, it helps you manage your code, track changes over time and collaborate efficiently. In this tutorial, we are going to see step-by-step -step installation of Git on your Windows operating system. And by the end of this tutorial, you will have Git up and running on your machine. So guys, pause this video till the end. Now, here's the agenda of our today's session. We are going to start our session with introduction to Git. Then we are going to explore some of the features of Git and finally installing Git on the Windows. As we move ahead, here's a quick info for you. Simply Learn has got AI powered full stack developer program. You can become job ready with AI powered full stack developer course. You are going to develop modern web apps using Monstack, Java and AI powered tools. You can boost your CV with 60 plus hands-on project. You can earn an official Microsoft certificate. And finally, you can launch your career with AI powered resume, mock interviews and also job opportunities. So guys, hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. Now, before we start our session, here's a short quest to test your knowledge. What is the primary purpose of Git in software development? And your options are to write code automatically or to store code securely on a cloud server or to manage and track changes in code over time or finally to edit code for collaboration. Please mention your answers in the comment section below. So let's get started. So guys, before we move ahead, I request you that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So let's get started. So guys, let us first understand what is Git. So guys, Git is a version control system, meaning that it helps you track changes in your code over time, collaborate with others also and maintain a history of all your project modifications. Basically, it enables multiple developers to work on the same project simultaneously while keeping the project in sync. Git is kind of fast, reliable and used by many development teams across the world. Now, there are some amazing key features of using Git. The first one that we have is distributed version control. Now, let's say each developer has a full local copy of the project in the history. And then you also perform branching and merging. So in this scenario, Git allows you to create multiple branches of different features or fixes of a given application or a project, which can be then merged back together seamlessly. And the most interesting part of using Git is collaboration. So let's say you are in a team and you are creating, let's say, an e-commerce application. And let's say you have one front-end developer and three back-end developers. And let's say you have three back-end developers. Now, let's say when everyone is trying to share a code and they are trying to push the given code so that your complete integration is done, then Git helps you actually in collaboration. Git allows developers to collaborate without stepping on each other's toes. So everyone can work isolately and then they can commit their given code. Now, next feature if I talk about, they have this thing called staging area. Git has a staging area where you can review changes before committing them, meaning before you are trying to merge your given code into the main code repository. So that's pretty interesting. And you know, you can also do history and auditing. So every change what you have done is tracked by Git. So it allows you to check the history and revert to the previous state if necessary. So guys, for installing Git, let's say we are trying to download it on Windows 11. So go to the official website of Git, type www.git.com. And this is the given thing what you are going to see on your computer screen. So you have to click on downloads, just click on this. And you can see you're going to get various operating system all over here. Let's say if you are using Mac OS, you can just right click all over here. Let's say if you are using Windows, you can click all over here. Now click on Windows and here you are going to see, click here to download the given version of this. So make sure that you are having 64 bit ARM architecture and also that uh, based on your operating system, please do have a check. So this given tutorial is based on Windows 11. So just right click all over here and we are going to see that our download has started. So you can wait for some seconds and then you can right click on this. Now guys, the installation step is much more simpler. All you have to do is just right click all over here and you can see first scroll down and you know, then click on next 
and you can see there are a couple of things which you can add in the installation section like in the quick launch on desktop like you can open git bash also gui so there are a couple of things so these are pre-checked things so i'll just keep it as the same and then i'll click on next and um, you can see after that also you have to click next and uh, let's say adjusting the name of the initial branch in the new repository i'll keep it at selected as let get decide okay and uh, then adjusting your path environment it is auto selected and recommended just keep it as the same then go all over here use bundled open ssh okay then choosing HTTPS transport as a backend so you can choose open ssl library this is also pre-selected so you can keep this as selected check out windows style commit unix style endings and then what you can do all over here just keep this selected use main tty as a default terminal and you can just keep it selected fast forward or merge and finally get credential manager then finally just click on the installation part so guys since i've already installed git so i won't be clicking on this but this is a very generic process of installation it's pretty easy and there is a proper ui just you need to click on next next till you see a installation button now let's go to the terminal and check whether we have correctly installed git or not so for checking it just type this command git version and you can see i'm having 2.451 on windows 11 so this is my version which i have prior installed now the you can see if you are downloading right now you might see updated version of this is so this is the basic idea of installation on git now let's try to do something different let's try to create a repository on github and let us try to push it through our given terminal using git so guys now what you have to do is go to the official website of github okay do your given login and let's say click on sign in or uh, just click on this continue with google so guys you can see all over here i have opened my github account let's click on new repository and let's name it as let's say test okay and there are a couple of other things so you can just say test one two three okay and finally just click on create repository then what you're going to see you are going to see all these things now let us initialize all this thing so copy this thing okay let's initialize with git init so guys i have one project let us try to install this so let's say the given project is all over here so type git init okay now next thing just type this okay so you can see it has started adding all the git files we can wait for a couple of minutes let's say next command let's try to type the commit next let's make it a main branch and let's add the remote origin for the given same and finally let us try to push this so git push u origin main and these commands will be mentioned on the uh, section where you are trying to create a repository so git actually gives us the command for you to push your given project onto the github so let us try to click on this now finally all you have to do is type git push u origin main and you can see your project will be pushed to github so this is these are the steps that you need to perform in order to push your given code on the github so guys this was all for today's tutorial on how to install git on windows i hope so you would have enjoyed our today's tutorial and also guys if you like these kind of videos then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you don't miss out any update from our end.